I say like the people on the other side of that, I know that you, you don't think like that, Peter. You're one of the good guys. But let me tell you something. I mean, I'm, the reason that I'm, I'm using this is that, I mean, I, could, I can't remember what happened in 2014 and there was no music festival, but there, were, there must be something. I mean, they must do something. It is their fault. It has to be something. I mean, 2018, 300 Palestinians died. Ah, who's counting, you know? Uh, but the, the, so the thing is, what Good my point. question is, let's find what is the exchange rate for human life today so we know, expect the future death of Palestinians and we'll be happy to it. My, my response to that would be this, Bassem. I thought carefully about this because I think it's very tricky for people like me to immerse ourselves into a conflict where we're not directly involved. And I thought carefully mm -hmm. about what I feel about this. <laughs> I feel that the scale... I just want to say... Um... When you go on a, on, a, on a show, including myself, anybody, and you're broadcasting to the world, but especially when you have clout and you have a following and you're known and you're with the establishment and, uh, you know, the establishment of the government and, and the people that own the media, and uh, you are a part of this, you're definitely, you're definitely directly involved because your words can be very strategic. Uh, whatever you project there, people will take it as as uh, God's law. You know, it's been it's happened before. You know, of what Hamas did on October the seventh supersedes anything else I've seen in this conflict, really ever. That the the savagery, yes. the butchery, the slaughter of thirteen hundred people, the I, shooting of babies, the 100%. kidnapping of grandmothers. Okay, I'm sorry. I know that that that, that uh, Bassem is going to probably say something brilliant. Um, for for Pierce. Uh, Morgan to say that 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 was the worst atrocity uh, ever in Palestine. Look, the occupation itself was an atrocity. The very first moment that they stepped foot in there, and then they started expanding themselves. You know, uh, you know. I always tell people that look at your own place where you live. Imagine somebody just walks in and says, "Okay, I'm going to stay here just in this small little area." The next day, they block off the kitchen, so you can't use the kitchen anymore. I'm taking that. I'm also taking the bathroom. You know, the only thing you're left with is your room and you can't go out there to the rest of your room. If you do, you'll get killed, you know, and this is how you have to look at it. This is how these people, this is their home. So, you know, you're trying to look at both sides, but look at it from that perspective. That's the perspective that they would have. Bassam will probably explain it a lot better than I will if he does address this. Let's see. And so on. So if, if we can agree on that, which I think is inarguable, then the question then becomes, again, about proportion. I, I don't disagree that there's been a lot of bad stuff on both sides going back historically for decades. But if we agree that this was on a different level altogether, quite deliberately by Hamas, designed, I, designed you know to provoke... I'm gonna, designed I'm, to provoke... No, here's my I'm question. Be a, Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. and, and the question, because the you, question? you raised it earlier about proportion. I honestly don't know what the proportionate response is. Uh, I, yes. I, I honestly don't. I, I don't. I've been watching the airstrikes so this what's week your thinking... So what, what's your question? Well, I was asked... I would, well, I would ask you, if you were Israel, what would uh, you... If I was Israel. If you were Israel and that had happened to you, what would you uh -huh. think would be the appropriate way for the country to respond? I would do exactly like Israel did, kill as many people as possible since the, the, the world is letting me do it. I mean, I, <laughs> I can do it because I can, you know? But the thing is, you know... Okay, <laughs> that I love. The guy's smart. He's truly, truly smart. Uh, he's brilliant. Uh, it's a great point. The world is allowing them to do this. You know, when, 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 the, when China invaded Tibet, the world only had a few words to say about that, you know? Uh, there are many instances uh, where this type of aggression uh, happens and it's never, never mentioned in, in, in the way that they're emphasizing uh, what's happened in Israel. You know, uh, uh, China also moved into a part of uh, uh, India and, uh, you know, in India, that's where my ancestors come from. Uh, you know, there, there's, you know, it hasn't been mentioned. Not too many people know, even know about this. You know, but that could fluctuate or, or start, you know, a, a war. You know, it's, there's already war going on there between Pakistan and India. Now you have China involved there as well. So what he's saying makes a lot of sense, guys. You know, and uh, 
Let's see what he says. You know what? I agree with you. And you know what? I'm going to be even ahead of you because I see the question coming. Do you condemn Hamas for the atrocities? Yes, I condemn Hamas. Mm. I condemn Hamas. I condemn Hamas. Hamas is the source of all evil. They are the reason for everything. And you know what? Let's for a minute imagine a world without Hamas. Right. <laughs> what will this world look like? Mm. Let's give this world a name. And let's name this world the West Bank. <laughs> Hamas has absolutely no control in the West Bank. And this is the beginning of this street. Only through August, 37 Palestinian kids were killed. Mm. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. Since the occupation of the West Bank, 7,000 Palestinians were killed. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. These are great points, guys. Because, what you know, the stupidity, and I hate to say it like that, but Pierce Morgan and the people that think like him have this bullshit view that if you you know and they did this with with other people along the way i mean you know the the same reason that they went into you know iraq and and you know you make people out to be uh the enemy and and uh you know if the government and, and the media works together and does that of course you know they're gonna have uh they're gonna have a bad connotation uh to who they are and their name everything you know and i think that's what he's emphasizing here is is how easy it is to to uh, you know, frame anyone or a, you know any group of people, and uh, turn them into bad guys. You know, it's 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 interesting. I can go on and on and on and on. No, no, but you about, don't, you don't need to West because Bank. in a way, in a way, you're preaching to the choir. I've I've followed this crisis. Oh no, for... you're not preaching. So the the, the thing is, like, I, well, in the sense I that I know, I know, saying, I know that what you're saying has validity. Of course, of uh, course, uh, I Pierce, do. Pierce. By the way, Pierce, Pierce, Pierce. I am at a disadvantage here. I can hear you, I cannot see you. Mm. I am in a claustrophobic room. And so please cut, cut me some slack and don't interrupt me and interrupt There me you more. go. Sure. He so has I, a tendency to do this, that. This has to be fair. October the 7th, and what Hamas did is with ISIS. Excuse me. It's the uh, only comparison. Do, do you mind if I, so, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. A Palestinian. And ISIS were taken out, by the way, with you're, you're plane, with planes. Me. No, no. Here's my. You didn't do this with the ambassador. I'm going to finish. You did this with Ben Shapiro, which you gave the show to him. No, no. Hang on. I'm giving you, you plenty of time. No, you're not. I'm giving you plenty. You asked about the analogy of a plane flying over, yeah, targeting. Yeah. But you didn't answer my question. But that did happen, Mohammed, with ISIS. Would you accept to get Belfast of... to be flattened? No, wait a minute. Or not? Yes no, or no? Wait a minute. It never happened. So they're like. He's got a lot of audacity and balls and completely disrespects this guy it's it's you know Pierce Morgan is not a class act he's just a you know I don't even want I don't to know say what it. the proportionate response Pierce, is. let me respond to but you. can you tell me you've spoken for about two minutes you didn't do that with the ambassador by the way I'm just showing you're saying mm -hmm. fair but but you're not being fair I've said okay so, so let me just let me paint a I will be fair I'm, I'm sure, sure I'm genuinely interested in what you have to say right, excellent to be fair Understand. yeah he did that with Mohammed uh hijab and quite a few other people uh, that wanted to speak on this, I noticed that he has a biased way of looking at things. It really sucks. But, uh, you know, that's great that he actually stopped him and told him, hey, look, let me speak. You know, good for you. Let's see. Because if you want to only hear your opinion, I can just condemn Hamas and go home. I can do that. So if you do you want to do that or do you have a much more nuanced conversation? No, I absolutely want to have a nuanced conversation. I wasn't aware I was interrupting you. I thought I was letting you speak. Amazing. <laughs> so let's I mean I mean I would say I would say I really applaud Israel for doing one thing that no military force in the world does. Because I heard I heard Ben Shapiro and I heard Ron DeSantis and they said they said Israel is the only military force in the world that warns civilians before bombing them. I mean how fucking cute. <laughs> that is so nice of them. So, because with this logic, if Russian troops started warning Ukrainians Good before point. bombing Good their point. houses, we're cool with Putin, right? I mean, Good okay, point. Habibi, you have uh, warned them, go invade. It's fine. You have done your job. I mean, the thing is, yeah. and I understand, all, and I also heard Ben Shapiro talking about, uh, about human shield. <laughs> so you remember my wife's family, they live in Gaza. So I asked them, I told them, when Israel give you the nice warning, the cute warning. Does Hamas force you to stay in your home so you can be bombed and use a, a, as as human shield? You know what Hassan here, uh, my my wife's uh, my wife's cousin. He's a he's a he's a loser. You know. He, he told me. You know. When I asked him, does that happen? He told me, no. The lying son of a bitch lied to me. I told him, you don't understand. Ben Shapiro and Ron DeSantis keep saying that Israel warns you and Hamas asks you to keep to stay put. So I I I, I told wow. him, he's a loser. He never kept a job. He even like failed in all of the interviews to become like a human shield. I, I, w I would believe right. Ben Shapiro. Let but me let's, ask you this, let, So let's go with that. No, no, no. Let's no, no. Let me ask. But at you some this. point, I must be able to if ask we, you questions. If we, 
It's not if a monologue agree, for you, if agree, but if we agree, if we agree that for the 14,000 casualties, I mean, who's counting, are human shield, does that mean that every single one of those civilians was standing, obscuring a military target behind them? Mm -hmm.